Many years ago, the generations before, before ours, ours first spread the voices of women to parliaments. They spread the voices of women through the world to institutions, to businesses, to culture, to health, to the many vital parts of society. society. We believe that women in parliaments have unique perspectives and experiences which need a platform to be heard. We, we are, are representatives, representatives of, of the people, people, no matter their color, no matter their origin, no matter their gender. Women must be more actively involved in nominating themselves for leadership and participating in businesses and politics. The healthiest and most peaceful societies are those in which women are fully involved in decision making. Women must therefore be even more encouraged and supported to take up political leadership at all levels. Quotas and affirmative action have proved to be a successful tool to increase the percentage of women in parliament. Instead of standing in front of the parliament, why don't we go inside the parliament and join politics and make decisions because decision making is all right. Women Political Leaders is a global network for women in political office. Their mission is to increase both the number and the influence of women in political leadership positions. To do things together and then we will be unbeatable. It's not only doing it, but doing it together. If women vote for women, then we will always win. We try to build a basis, a platform for those women, no matter from which country, no matter from which political affiliation they come, to work together. The president and founder of WPL, Silvana Kochmerin, talks about their mission and their achievement throughout the years. WPL, the short for Women Political Leaders, is the global network of women who are in political office. So it's worldwide women who are members of parliament or ministers, but also prime ministers, presidents, and if we can get hold of them, also women mayors or also on the subnational level of politics. Since 2013, WBL has set up the largest global network of women politicians in the world. Around 10,000 women elected and appointed at the national and international level. WPL started in 2013 with a big convening in the European Parliament and there were from more than 100 countries women politicians coming and there was a very very clear ambition and motivation and also identified need for convenings like, like this and for working together. So it's almost 10 years. On the 13th of February 2022, they launched with an open letter the initiative WPL for Peace. The letter has now more than 500 signatures, among which Nobel laureates, presidents and prime ministers, member of parliaments and governments. We put together an open letter to presidents Biden and Putin, um, and we invited them to go to Reykjavik, to meet where Ronald Reagan and, um, and Gorbachev, like then presidents of the United States and president of the Soviet Union met to begin the end of the Cold War, where they talked nuclear disarmament, which then led to um, the end of the Cold War. And this open letter we um, shared with, with um, the, the, the network presidents, prime ministers, ministers, parliamentarians, also women, Nobel Peace laureates signed this letter. We received enormous support and um, a lot of replies and conversations with the signatories. This initiative emphasizes the role of women as positive agents in conflict resolution, spreads awareness of the vital role women's leadership plays in the sustainability of any peace achieved, and advocates for a more inclusive New World Security Agenda.